Yo, what's really good? It's your boy Ace to the Boogie coming to you with another review. Now today we're talking about Nike Tech Fleece. We're talking about the newest generation that they have, the newest ones out, man. So we're gonna talk about the uh, the joggers. Right here I have the, uh, the gray joggers. You know it's the new generation when it has this pocket on the back right here. And we're also gonna talk about the wind runners, the new wind runners, man. You definitely wanna stay tuned because the sizing has changed from the previous Nike Tech Fleece joggers and wind runners, man. Stay tuned. Right, welcome back, man. So, like I said, we're going to get into the Tech Fleece joggers. These are the new editions, the 2021s. I'm going to do an on body as well. We're going to do on body with the gray. We're going to do the on body with the uh, with the black joggers as well. We're going to do the on body with the uh, burgundy dark beetroot. And like I said, we're also going to do the on body and review of the new. Uh, wind runner as well, but first let me go ahead and get into the uh, the joggers Right here, man. We have your new edition. You feel me new edition Nike tech fleece It has a similar construction man, but the sizing is totally different on these so I mean It's up to you whether you want to invest in these or not, but uh, I'm gonna give you my opinion and give you my rundown So right here we definitely have the uh, the pockets you still get two pockets on the side you get one on the right one on the left, it has the uh, the rubber rubberized uh, like uh, it's almost like a plasticky type thing right here to uh, fuse the uh, pieces of uh, the fabric together right here. You get pretty deep pockets here. Always need a zipper pocket when it comes to sweats, man. So you get the zipper pocket. It kind of rides on the back of the uh, the right cheek paws. You feel me? You'll see in the on body where it sits though. But um, this is a deeper pocket. If you look inside, it has the uh, the lining where you can also have a smaller pocket inside of there. So it's almost like two pockets in one. Let me go ahead and zip this up. This is pretty much like your standard style from the previous generations. You have it broken down into almost three parts. They have the, uh, this is for like that thigh area. Then you kind of have the knee. Then you have your shin down here, like your shin calf area. Let me go ahead and turn it to the back for you. As you can see, it says a uh, slim, uh, I think it's a slim fit, but we'll talk about that fit, man, because it ain't as slim as it used to be, to be honest, man. Slim fit, tapered leg, I mean, that, that's what it says, but like, like I said before, if you have any other Tech Fleece pants, you will definitely feel a difference with these because what they did was, it's a bigger cut, man. It used to be really slim fit. Like you get that nice slim look on there. Now, I don't want to say they're parachute pants, but they are definitely a lot bigger. You feel me? And like I said, when I try them on, you'll be able to see the difference. Matter of fact, I'll even try on a pair of the older uh, Tech Fleece joggers so you can see the difference. But uh, right here on that, uh, that, left, that left area, you have the Nike sign right there in black. And the prices have gone up on these. Uh, I have these in a size medium. Here you go, let me see the price. Actually, yeah, the price is 110 on these now. The price is 110, let me see, hopefully you can catch it, catch a little bit of that. But it's 110 for the, um, 110 for the jogger pants, man. Like I said, I got these in a size medium. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, Wind Runner right here. Actually, we'll get straight to the tag. The Wind Runner is 130. 130, 130. There we go. I mean, it's like your standard design, man. You still have that classic Chevron design where you have it goes right across the chest. You have the Nike in black right here. I mean, the, the Wind Runner doesn't look much different. But like I said, the sizing, it's like they're trying to almost copy that fear of God a little bit more baggy style. And uh, I feel like if you're going to do that, just come out with a totally different line because Tech Fleece has been around for a long time and we're used to that real slim athletic type of fit. 
And uh, the new iteration, these new ones, they do not have that fit at all. You also have that uh, pocket on the left, the left sleeve right here. It's a small pocket. I think it's more of a design thing. It is a pocket though. I think it's more of a design thing so that it matches with the uh, the joggers that have like a similar um, pocket on it. But at the bottom, you can see we have a uh, we have the pockets on the right and the left hand side. Now the uh, the wind runner it does have an another hem at the bottom of it right here. Uh, your hood, no drawstrings. So keep that in mind. No drawstrings on the hood. You do get the zipper that zips from the top and bottom. It's a double zipper, so you can go top and bottom on it. This is, oh, this is not the YKK zipper anymore. This is SAB. So um, I'll see if that is, you know, nicer than the YKK. I'm a fan of the YKK zippers, but we do have different uh, zippers on this. As you can see, I got the jacket in a size large. And if I knew that things were running big like they are, I probably would have sized down. That's just to be honest, man. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw both of those things. Actually, I'm going to throw everything on so you can get a good idea of the fits on these uh, on the new generation of uh, Tech Fleece. And that concludes the on body portion of the video. So talk to me, man. What do you think about the new Nike Tech Fleece, man? Is the sizing cool with you? To me, like I said, it runs a little bit too baggy, man. It's like it's almost better to size down if you want that fit that you're really used to and really accustomed to when it comes to Nike Tech Fleece, man. Go ahead, leave a like on this video, comment, talk to me. You know I talk back, man. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, man. But it's your boy Ace to the Boogie, and I'm out.